Howdy. Hope you don't mind, but from time to time, I'm going to have to take a swig because, strangely enough, I'm feeling warm as I do this video. Temperatures have been in the 50s lately, and suddenly it's in the 70s today, so what are you going to do? Anyway, I want to talk about blogging, or more specifically, how blogging is difficult. And it sounds weird coming from someone like me, so I'm going to explain it. You know, uh, at the beginning of the month, had one of my longtime online friends decide that she was going to stop blogging. Now, we both started our pinnacle blogs, and I have to say it that way because I started blogging th three years before she did, but my most popular blog and her blog started pretty much around the same time in 2008. And when she started out, she was writing about three posts a week, whereas my first three years, I was actually averaging over 300 articles a year. I, I, that's just me. That's just how I was. Anyway, she started out with the three, and then at some point, it became two articles a week. Then last year, there was some point, she started going to one article a week. And then she changed up the focus of her blog a little bit after getting some coaching, uh, trying to be more business directed. And then at the beginning of May, she decided, you know what, I'm done. Um, she had different business goals and decided that blogging wasn't a part of it. And so she shut it down. And I'm kind of depressed along with a lot of other people because we enjoyed her writing. She's probably one of the best online networkers you've ever met. And, you know, that was kind of sad. And, you know, you wish she could continue blogging, but she said she wasn't going to close it down because you just never know. Um, and I thought about that because, you know, blogging does take some time, but it's not just writing. Because the beginning of this week, this other guy who, I don't think he's a longtime blogger, but his claim to fame is that at this point he's up to 134 ebooks. <laughs> Goodness, you know, I guess I need to get up, get going here since I only have a couple. I have other books, but I have to get going. Anyway, um, he is one of these guys who used to advocate writing between five and 8,000 word long blog posts. I just can't imagine an 8,000 thing all the time. I can't imagine a 5,000 all the time. I just wrote a post that um, ended up being 5,600 words, and that way out of my realm. I mean, I write fast, but, you know, 5,600 words takes a while to put together. So anyway, he decided that he was going to stop taking comments. Now, this is a guy who used to talk a lot about how you get people to come by, by responding to comments and how you should be going to other blogs and visiting and whatever. And his reason for disabling comments is he said it felt too much like work having to respond to comments. I said, wow, really? Now, if I was getting two or 300 comments on my blog posts, I might say, wow, that's a lot, whole lot of work trying to get to that. I'm nowhere close to that. Actually, he wasn't close to that either. But if this guy is trying to put out all this other stuff, I mean, if he's really trying to write five to 8,000 word uh, post every single time, and he's putting out ebooks like they're water, um, you know, maybe you don't kind of have that time. I mean, you know, blogging is one of those kind of things where there's a lot of people who try to start blogging and find out that they can't. And one bit of advice that I always give, I've written it multiple times on my blog, I've probably said it in another video somewhere over all these years, and I've said it in interviews when I've given interviews, is that my recommendation to people who say they want to start a blog or they ask me should they be blogging, I say, okay, here's what you do. You sit down and you write 10 articles. If it takes you a day, if it takes you a week, if it takes you a month, See if you can write 10 articles. If you can write 10 articles, not only can you blog, but you now have 10 articles that you can program into your blog to go live at different times. So you've already got some content willing to go. If you can't write 10 articles, don't even start blogging because you're just going to be wasting your time. You're wasting the space. There's nothing that looks worse than having a blog that ends. It just ends and it's there. I mean, the blogosphere as we call it, is replete with tons of blogs that people have stopped writing. I finally had to go through my blog reader 
a few weeks ago to get rid of a lot of blogs because they hadn't written since 2014. And I really had, you know, I knew the names, but I hadn't realized that a lot of those people had stopped writing. And, you know, you just feel something. You know, I'm not necessarily sure what it is, but you kind of feel a loss. You're not really sure where those people are. Some of those people I'm connected to on social media, but for a lot of those people, the only time I ever really got to talk to them happened to be on their blogs or when they came to visit mine. Because what happens often is when people stop blogging, they stop visiting and commenting on new blogs as well. So blogging really isn't as easy as people think it is. Um, it's not always about the writing. I mean, you know, like I said, when I first started um, my I'm Just Sharing blog, I was writing about 300 articles a year. A little bit more than that. Um, now I'm down to a point where I try to write at least one article a week on I'm Just Sharing and one article a week on my business blog, which is called Mitch's blog. And if I get to my other three blogs in that week, because, you know, rather got three blogs, then I get to them because I write for other people as well. So, you know, it's not necessarily easy. It's hard, but it's one of those kind of things where if you love writing, if you feel you have something to say, it's a lot of fun and you can make money off of it. Now, I will tell you the truth. I have not geared myself really towards making money off of it. I'm thinking about it, though. I mean, I really need to think about it. If I'm going to continue writing all this stuff, I need to think about making real money. And I mean real money. I don't mean like, you know, $5 a month. I mean, you know, sustainable money. I mean, if I'm going to do all this writing, I might as well start trying to make more money from it. Uh, if I'm writing for myself than others, wouldn't you think? So that's my thought for today. But I'd like to hear from, you know, you guys. If you do blog, what do you think? Do you think that blogging is hard? Do you think it's easy? Do you think it's a shame when people stop blogging or when people stop answering comments? Or, you know, do you care at all? Let me know. Y'all take care. Hope you have a wonderful weekend.